Hi everyone, it's Alexis, your independent sexy consultant, and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video, but you know, life happens. So, in today's video, we are covering the spring and summer 2020 transition testers kit, or set, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this only covers the scents that are available for this catalog, does not include the year-round scents. So let's get into the video. So we're going to be starting with the fruity category. And first one we have is very bright. So this one is a new release scent. It smell it. I get like a cotton candy, like that blue cotton candy smell. So it's very sweet. But that's what I smell and it smells so good and I can't wait to warm this so since he says uh, blue raspberry and fresh clementine light the way to sweet sugar plum and it is a uh, like the blue raspberry like artificial scent and I really like this that one smells pretty good Let's go on to the next one. Rainbows and butterflies. It's a very pretty, like, purple. No, this one's kind of like a mellow, um, it's sweet, but it's like mellow. I get a little bit of strawberry. Maybe like a vanilla, like a strawberry vanilla but it's a mild like so it's not gonna be overpowering so if you like those you would probably really like this so since you said um love the fantasy with fresh strawberries pineapple juice and vanilla citrus makes sense so it's a very mild it's not gonna be strong like this one's kind of strong and this one's mild compared to it so we have sea salt and avocado which is a bestseller And it basically describes it. It's like a a salty kind of citrusy scent. And it's very fresh in my opinion too. It's like a fruity fresh, but salty at the same time. So since he says, you do you while pink sea salt, um, orange and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. I really like this one and I can understand why it is a bestseller. Our next one we have is Rainbow Sherbert, which is a new scent. So it looks like this. Rainbow Sherbert. It's definitely a Sherbert, like a Sherbert ice cream. You get like the strawberry and the orange. Maybe like a little lime or lemon, but it's sweet at the same time. So, Sensi says it's a classic orange zest, sugared strawberry, and king lime zing, just like the real thing. I feel like this one would be good with Berry Bright. Like, that's what I was smelling right now. Was Yes, these two combined would be amazing, in my opinion. All right, we have prickly pear and aguave. This one reminds me of one. What is it? I think it's by the sea. Yeah, here we go. Maybe not. I don't know. This one reminds me of a scent. And I don't know what scent, but it reminds me of a scent that we have. It's like a fresh, kind of salty, but yet fruity scent. So, since he says, prickly pear and aguave are sweet as a dessert sunset behind a dreamy veil of sheer petals. I do get the floral hint in it. We have sugared strawberry. Now, I believe this one, yes, is a bestseller. And 
a lot of you know you could have gotten the Valentine's bundle with the warmer, and it is available in your Scent Club right now. So if you add that to your Scentsy Club, you can get sugared strawberry right now. Um, but this is going to be a very sweet strawberry. It's totally all I get. Like, oh, what's that? Like that Smacker strawberry? That's what that reminds me of. A blend of luscious strawberries, juicy currants, and California sun-kissed lemons. We have peach nectar, which is a new scent, so it looks like this. It's a nice peach color. And it is a nice peach smelling scent. Like a, kind of like a, a fake peach scent if you want. Delicate peach skin and blue freesia settle into a bed of really musk clouds. Southern sweet tea. I have not smelled this one. It smells like a peach tea. And I don't know if that's what it's supposed to smell like or not. But that's what I get. A peach tea. Like if you go to like a restaurant or a peach tea. This is what this reminds me of. And I feel like I'm going to like it when it's warmed. A splash of heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. So it does have peach in it. So I guess it is kind of supposed to be like a peach tea. Pina colada cha-cha. I bet this is going to smell like a pina colada. Oh yeah, hands down. Pina colada for sure. Mm, it smells pretty good. It'd be perfect for the summertime. Island coconut and zesty pineapple lead white warm rum with vanilla bean flow. For sure, pina colada. Pineapple pucker. I feel like this would be good with the pina colada. It smells like a, a very sweet pineapple. I like those, um dehydrated sugar pineapple pieces it's kind of what it reminds me of but i feel like these two would be amazing together fresh pineapple steals the show in this eye-opening tropical production we have camu camu hmm sounds kind of like a passion fruit. I don't know. There's a hint of something else. Let's see what Cincy says about Camu. Camu. Tropical oasis of less mandarin Camu, Camu, and passion fruit. So there is passion fruit in it. We have strawberry taffy. Now I hope this smells like strawberry taffy. Yes, it does. And if you're not like big in strawberries like that, you would not like this at all. It's okay. My favorite, no. Not cool note of vanilla taffy folded with strawberry puree, bacon straight from memory lane. All right, we have chili mango, which is a new one, and I am so excited to smell this. I hope it's kind of like a spicy mango, which to me, that's what it smells like. And I feel like I might like this. This one's different. Maybe like a little peach. Kind of getting a little peach in there. But it's a, it's different. This one's really different, but I really like it. So since he says... Just sliced mango and juicy peach go a little rogue with a sassy hint of chili. I totally agree with that. You definitely get that sassy hint of chili. We have skinny dipping, which is a bestseller. And this one is like your, no, this one smells like smackers too, but I don't know which one. But it's like your fruity, you know, summery, sweet scents and it smells so good and I can see why it's a bestseller and everybody wants skinny dipping 
Fresh green apples, perfectly harmonized with refreshing melons and juicy pears. That's what it is, the melons. Gotta go. Yeah. All right. Malo Maloho coconut. It's definitely straight up coconut. And kind of like a, it's like a floral, a floral mixed with coconut. Since he says paradise is only a waffle away with floral Hawaiian lei and violet over fruity fresh pineapple. Does he have coconut in it? Wait, what? Huh, that's weird. Okay. We have apricot vanilla. Oh, this one was a new scent as well. It smells like apricot and vanilla. It smells like fruit by the foots to me. That's what I get. Since he says heroin, peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream, Tim Fate. One of. Oh, so this is one of Heidi's favorites. And I really like that one. Black raspberry vanilla. We have a bestseller right here. You can't go around with black raspberry vanilla. It's literally like as it describes like berries and vanilla. Delicious, sun sweetened dark berries warmed with vanilla. Strawberry champagne truffle. Is that like a uh, vanilla strawberry, kind of like a fake strawberry in a way, but not really, but yet so. Fresh strawberries, creamy vanilla, and a splash of champagne will make any celebration. We have do we or don't we? And I'm excited to smell this. It's like a a nice like floral, maybe like an herby um, fruitiness. It smells, it smells really good. All right, since he says, we definitely do. Dressed crust basil over ripe cantaloupe is a gift from the garden's gods. Last but not least is Johnny Appleseed. Now this is a bestseller. I have not smoked Johnny Appleseed and I hope it just chills straight up like apples. Oh yeah, nice, fresh, ripe apples. Smells so good. And a lot of people rave about this and the um, the cleaner products and I cannot wait to try Johnny Appleseed and the cleaners. Just picked McIntosh pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. Don't know what that is. So this is the fruity category. Um, I think we went over basically all of them because, you know, usually in the winter time we might only have like a couple in the fruity. But so all of the ones for this catalog. Now we're going on to citrus. So, some of these I do not have because they are available year round. So, we're not going to cover those in this one. So, let's get into it and grab them. So, our first one is Lemon Verbana. It's like a citrus, like it's like a mix between lime and lemon. Since he says fresh lemon zest, sprite lime, and verbena leaf. Pretty much. We have Paradise Punch. It's just gonna smell like the Hawaiian. What is it? Like that Hawaiian punch drink? Yes, it does. Or like that. Uh, the red shaved ice. Yes, it does. A melody of wild Indian orange and sunny lemon juice. I see berries and star fruit. We have lemon sorbet, which this is a bestseller. 
It smells like a sweet, like sugary lemon. And I really like that. Would it replace my um, lemon that I have now, the Bring Back My Bar? What is it called? That lemon one. I don't remember what it's called. No, I don't think so, but this one's pretty good. Fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest sweetened by sugar cane. So we're going on lemon. We might as well talk about coconut lemongrass, which is a bestseller. So now these lemon scents are going to be great if you cook dinner. And, you know, the scent's just not going away. Pop a cubo lemon in your water and you're good to go. It's like coconut lemon. And these do not smell the same at all. So it depends on which one you like more. Personally, I'm leaning towards lemon sorbet over coconut lemongrass. So Scentsy says creamy tropical coconut, sunny, bright lemongrass. Now next one is squeeze today. Now I believe this one was a scent of the month last year and they brought it back if I'm correct and this is like a a lemon but with like vanilla and I kind of really like this like between the lemons like these two along with the bring back my bar lemon oh those are so good so since he says a tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced with a hint of vanilla cream totally agree Next we have is Tropic Tango. I got like a mandarin orange, like a mango. I don't know, something else to kind of like balance that out. Let's see what Scentsy says. Get in the groove with Tangelo Zest, Mango Puree, and Coconut Milk. All right, Sunkissed Citrus. This one is a bestseller. Now, I hear a lot of people are iffy about this. They either like it in the waxworm or they don't, but they love it in the cleaner products. To me, it smells like high C, the orange high C. It's what it smells like. It literally smells like my childhood, honestly, because that's all I drink. Lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits. And last one is Coco Lime. Now this one is a new one. Ooh, I like this one. It's like a creamy, like a lime, but like a creamy is something to balance it out so it's not overpowering, but it's sweet at the same time. Ooh, this is so good. Ooh, I like that. So, Sensi says, coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. That's good. So, the ones we did not go over is Blue Grotto, which everyone knows Blue Grotto, I'm pretty sure, and Grapefruit Grenadine, which that actually came out in the fall catalog of 2019, and they actually kept it, which I'm really happy because I really did like it. So, now we're going on to the florals. So we have Be My Honey, which is this one. I literally always smell as honey. It's literally all I smell, which is why it's probably named Be My Honey, but it's literally like raw honey is literally all I smell. Pineapple rings topped with sweet honey and jasmine blossoms make a treat fit for a queen. So, farmer's market. I get cucumber and kind of like a floral, like, um, like a, a rose stem. Not the petals or anything like that, like the stem of the rose is what I smell. Mixed with cucumber. There's no denying that. So, Cindy says, crunchy carrot and cucumber with a hint of rose will have you seen and smelling green. Cute. Okay. 
kid. Hank really gets carrot, but I definitely get like the rose, I get the rose stem. And cucumber. This one's actually pretty nice and like refreshing. We have lilacs and violets, which is a bestseller. Literally, this name, lilacs and violets. Literally, always smells lilac. Perfect combination of lilacs and violets, the smell of spring. And I would know because growing up, we had a lilac bush right next to our kitchen window. So every time it was open, it's always smell. Here comes the sunflowers. Now this is a new one. It's like a fruity with like a flower petal. Oh, that smells really good, honestly. Sunkiss petals and fruity must celebrate things spring with a sweet pop of strawberry. It's really nice. Aloha citrus. I feel like this is like the perfect mix between a floral and a citrus. Like, it, whatever is in this just kind of like balances out. Now, I like essential oils, and one of these kind of smells like, um, vetiver. That's it. That's the one, vetiver. Cindy says, a fresh tide of tangerine, jade blossom, and vetiver. You knew it was in there. I could smell it. Hibiscus pineapple. Now, this is a new one as well. Oh my gosh, this one might be one of my favorites. Oh, this smells so good. It's like a coconut with almost kind of like an earthy wood note and a sweet note to it. Oh my god, this might be one of my new favorites. I can't wait to get my hands on this bar and warm it. Mandarin coconut and a touch of warm sandalwood to an enchanting tropical toe. I cannot wait to warm that. So ready. Summer holiday. Now I hear a lot of people raving about this one. What is that? It reminds me of a scent from Bath and Body Works. Um, which one is it? I think it's Japanese cherry blossom. That's what it reminds me of. Yes. Steal away to a sunny isles, bursting with luscious plumeria, tiger lily, and sweet orange, softened by vanilla and radiant amber. I could see that. Oh man, you guys, I missed one in the citrus. Hold on. Pause the video. We have Havana Cabana. Pineapple. Straight up pineapple. Maybe a hint of bananas, but straight up pineapple. It smells kind of like coconut too. So, since he says, luscious melody of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. So, there's no coconut, but I got the pineapple and the banana. Okay, now we can go back and do our last four, which is Lush, Lush Gardenia. I don't think I'm going to like this one, honestly. I feel like it's going to be too florally for me. Oh, smells like shit, like sunscreen. Not even lying. No, I don't, do not like that. It smells straight up like sunscreen to me. The creamy... Full scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose. Okay, so the only one we did not talk about is Luna. Um, Luna is a nice um, floral scent. It's very light, but it is really good. And Luna is a bestseller. I really love Luna. Luna is one of my favorites. So now we're going on to the fresh scent. We have By the Sea. 
Now this one kind of smells like mainly to me with like an earthy woody note. Cindy says the scent of ocean air wafting, wafting, with wafting through dewy seaside grass. We have mineral oasis, which is a new one. Hmm. Kind of get like a salty note to it. Kind of like almost like a seagrass in it. So Sensi says dewy seagrass and blooming osmanthus drift across dreamy turquoise waters. We have waves and wonders. This one has like an amber with like a, like that beach grass. You know, actually what I'm getting? Like cypress. If you know what cypress smells like, this has like a hint to it. Cats are being buttholes. Dewy beach grass and coastal cypress will have you feeling the amber sand between your toes. Lavender cotton. I feel like this is going to smell straight up like lavender. Yes. Kind of has a hint of baby powder to it to me. And I'm not really a big fan of lavender, so. There is that one. Find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. We have mojito mambo. smells like celery that's literally all I get is celery maybe with a little mint but mostly celery and I don't even think there's celery in it sparkling club soda crushed lime and muddled mint leaf sway away with white rum aloe water and cucumber is a bestseller for one reason such a nice like Fresh cucumber smells so good. Aloe water, cucumber peel, palm fond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. We have make waves. Get like some apple with some like I don't know like. Something like a green of some sort, like I don't know, like a grass maybe. Make your own waves in a wash of Icelandic water, tumbling dewy greens, and apple blossom. You just got attacked by a bug, like a fly. Um, Atlantic air. Salt and like an orchid. Yes. A refined veil of ocean mist and sea salt and white orchid. Clothesline, I feel like, has a bestseller for a lot of people. And just smells like fresh clean laundry, like what a lot of um, dryer sheets smell like. And that's not my type of scent, so I really won't like that one, but oh, if you like that clean, like, Clothes smelling, you'll like that. Crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and white worker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry. Pink cotton. Ooh, I like this. It's like a. You get that cotton, but you get like a. Maybe like a strawberry. Like a straight, straight, sweet strawberry, maybe? Find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. French lavender. Then we have another lavender and I won't really like it because I don't really like lavender. Pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from the hills of France. It smells like lavender. Could not guess. And our last one is iridescent pearl, which this is a new one. get like an apple 
like a kind of like a a floral it's sweet it's really good atrocious layers of ripe juicy mango and apple blossom wind down with tranquil water lotus so we did not talk about amazon rain clean breeze fiddly fig jammy time just breathe newborn nursery and now and zen We have our which ones. So we have satin sheets. Sandalwood and vanilla all the way. Sensational and earthy sandalwood perfectly paired with rich vanilla. Mystery man, bestseller right here. Now this one, so good to me. I love the smell of mystery man. Straight up like a nice smelling guy. Literally, nice smelling guy. Got like a woodsy note with like some bergamot and I love bergamot so. Warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced sensational fragrance. Bonfire Beach is a bestseller and this is literally one of my favorites. I love Bonfire Beach. It's literally like a sweet, like kind of like marshmallow woody note, but kind of has like a saltiness. I love it so much. Toasted marshmallow, smoldering over white flint and cinderwood, harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. And then we have saddle up. It's got like a musk, um, I'm kind of like a leather smell, like a hot leather, like, you know, like your car leather seats out in the sun. It's kind of like what it smells like. Capture some of the range reverb of soft suede, aged leather, sheer musk, and a breath of fresh air. So, we did not talk about sheer leather or weathered leather. And then in the spice, we will not talk about cinnamon, vanilla, and welcome home. Because those are available. And then in the bakery, I only have two. The first one is toasted marshmallow, which... I hear a lot of people pair this with Bonfire Beach. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like a marshmallow and like caramel. Definitely vanilla bean, but it smells so good. This summer staple gourmet with hints of smoked caramel and vanilla bean malt. I love this and I cannot wait to get my hands on this and warm it. And we have caramel sugar cone. It smells like a sugar cone. Like caramel with a vanilla and kind of like a um, like a bourbon maybe. Guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. So, we did not talk about apple butter frosting, apple cherry strudel, baked apple pie, blueberry cheesecake, brownie batter, butter pecan, churro churro, mocha doodle, sugar cookie, and vanilla bean buttercream. I like all of those, and they're all amazing. And then the last ones that I we are going to talk about are the Disney ones. So we have a couple that are coming back and a couple that have stayed with us from these past catalog. So our first one is Mickey Mouse and Friends, which is in was in the fall and winter catalog. And it's like a sweet, kind of like florally, um, citrusy like a peach and orange but like a sweetness celebrate everlasting friendship with a fragrance almost as sweet thanks to georgia peach accented by pops of orange peel and vanilla that's that one we have twitter pated which is the bambi one. Oh, i guess it was right that way i like this one it's kind of like a like a lemon with like a musk scent. It's really nice. Spring and the air and spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet and swirl of sun kissed Myron lemon morning dewdrops in a lush wild moss. Next we have Circle of Life, which is from the Lion King. And I really like this. 
It's like an amber with like a sandalwood note to it. As the sun rises on a new day, golden amber drifts over sandalwood and a hint of vanilla mirrors the delicate balance of life. We have Dumbo Sucker Sprayed, which a lot of people are excited this is coming back and I cannot wait to smell this. Ooh, a creamy, sweet mango. Definitely kind of get like an orange smelling and like a vanilla. And that just smells so good. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest scent on earth featuring sweet clementine, creamy peach, fresh mango, and vanilla bean. What I say. Next, we have Marvel's Nine Realm. So, of course, it's from Marvel. I don't know. It's kind of like a spicy scent, but yet kind of wants to be sweet. I don't know. That's so weird. A hair-like mix of lime zest, blue tea keeps you connected to the universe while lavender lightning really packs a punch. That's it. I get some lavender in there, but it is spicy too. All right, guys. So that is all of the scents um, in this catalog. Well, not all of them, I should say. All of the scents released with this catalog. So not the ones available year round, just the ones that only come out during the spring and summertime and some Disney scents. So thank you for watching. You can always go to my website, which is Wickless Sniffs. Not sniffs, niffs. So sniffs without the s. Dot scentsy dot us. I will also leave it linked down below. I have my Facebook page linked down below, and I will also leave my Instagram down below. If you have any questions, you can always contact me through my email that will be linked down below, or through my website or my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. Leave comments. If you have any future video requests that you want to see, have a great day. Bye.